Hi, my name is Lucy Godden, and I'm the general manager of Ivy Hill Cemetery. I oversee all of the grounds and office operations here. I am Jaime Rodriguez, and I'm the superintendent at Ivy Hill. So there's been a long history of caretakers at Ivy Hill Cemetery. When the cemetery started in 1856, the caretaker's job was just to help the families bury their own. And the families would actually dig the graves and bury the person. Uh, as time went on and we got more modern equipment, uh, then it became up to the cemetery workers to dig the graves, but the caretaker who ran the cottage eventually became the person who just maintained the grounds, care of the finances, managed the staff, and planned the burials. We have a lot of famous Alexandrians here. These are the people who were the movers and shakers of the 1800s, and it's important to preserve that history. We do have a lot of famous Alexandrians going back and their families and their descendants. We have the Stablers and the Leadbetters of the Stabler Leadbetter. We've got the Green family of the Green Furnitures from the 1800s. We have uh, all the Burks and the Herberts from Burke and Herbert Bank. That's just to name a few. It's an honor for us to be caring for these people. Families would spend the entire day here and having picnics and meeting with their family members who might live all the way out in Springfield, and this was kind of a common ground. But it wasn't right in the heart of town. We're still trying to get people to come back here, to visit with family, to care for family, to adopt their ancestors and help us care for these hallowed grounds. So in the older sites and the older lots, there are larger and more interesting tombstones. The, the clientele here was very wealthy at the time and could afford these grand obelisks and that sort of thing. As time went by and the cemetery was placing the stones, we didn't really have the equipment for putting in those large obelisks or those large stones. And so the size kind of got limited to something that we could handle. To me, it's kind of the last chance you get to express yourself. So whether that is in words or symbols on the stone or having a stone of an unusual shape or size, um, let's talk about that. Let's make this about you and the message that you want to leave behind. The whole procedure about digging a grave, one is making sure we get all verified from the office, all the paperwork, starting from the site into the section that we go in. We got to make sure that everything is verified with our name and last name. And then we go ahead and take a work order and we're going to do the measurements. With that is going into the field and making sure that we verify the site. Then we go ahead and start bringing all our equipment. We want this to be a part of the Alexandria community. We have trees here that date back to pre-Civil War, may even go back to Revolutionary War. Foxes and deers and eagle and of course chipmunks and squirrels and all that kind of thing. And we do have a groundhog we're not crazy about. So we're trying to make it a wildlife sanctuary, probably the largest green space in Alexandria at this point with trees and a natural stream. It's got a bigger role than just being a cemetery now. It's really important to have this space where people can come and just be at peace and be tranquil.